game number two against the legend Gotham Chess. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we will see my second match against the international master Levi Roseman from US. So you all know him very well, you know, the biggest YouTuber in chess world. You know, he has about 5 million subscribers. When will I be like him? You know, it's a very good question, but this is my goal. So it's very important for me to show you something before we are starting to see the match. My YouTube channel has already 756 subscribers, 71 videos. Yo, you know, it's, it's just amazing. So thank you very much for watching and like the video and every comment it's, is helping me a lot. So just, you know, just click subscribe and also to put the ring to all to get notification for any update in every stream uh, that I'm uploading. You can see here so much playlist and you can see here also live streaming that I'm playing title Tuesday and in leeches and just whatever you want and also you know the highlight the game between Hans Niemann and also the game between uh, Ikaru Nakamura and of course the first match against Gotham Chess so you are very welcome to see these um, these videos so let's back to chess and let's see the game between me against Gotham Chess so it was like I'm not sure when it was I think four years ago and uh, let's check let's check yes four years ago uh, four and a half years ago uh, I had like uh, 2848 this is my rating against Gotham with two, 2701 so I played the move d4 you know in the first game uh, I played the move knight f3 and we are joking like because this is not my move but in this game I played the move d4 it seems like I'm not uh, I'm not familiar with e4 maybe uh, but yeah d4 this is the move against Gotham and let's see what happens so knight f6 c4 b6 wow what a crazy to see this um, this opening uh, by uh, Gotham chess and of course don't forget that in the first match I was with the white pieces and also in this one I was with white pieces so I really want to play against him with the black pieces so maybe you have some you know a community with him and uh, I want I really want um, you know to offer him to play a rematch maybe uh, so let's see knight f3 bishop b7 g3 I'm not sure why I play this but you know I like to to put the bishop on g2 of course bishop takes f3 is uh, I'm, I'm not afraid from such moves he takes f3 uh, i don't know e, e6 a3 knight c3 f4 bishop g2 bishop e3 maybe somehow d5 uh, but it, maybe he will play d5 knight c3 yeah it's it's complicated bishop f3 maybe interesting move to play uh, with him side but he played the move g6 he's playing the fianchetto line bishop g2 bishop g7 castle castle and d5 this was my uh, my plan because you know this bishop now is not working at all and i have some plan to play knight c3 e4 knight d4 and uh, yeah it's it's controlling the uh, the the center of course so 94 very strange move by by Gotham chess but very you know like very creative I, I must admit because 94 yeah he's not playing with with the pawns right e6 maybe c6 maybe a5 knight a6 but he's playing the move knight to e4 and you know th this is crazy move to play because everything is on the air I just played the move knight fd2 I think also queen c2 makes for me a lot of sense but I assume that he wanted to play the move f5 and after it e6 and yeah this the point of 94 was not bringing me the opportunity to play the move knight c3 e4 so yeah it's 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 very interesting move i play the move knight fd2 i really want to exchange this knight from e4 and to push e4 so knight d6 now knight c3 uh, f5 i think also knight a6 uh, very logical, but e4, knight c5, and this square for the knight, right? Knight d3, uh, maybe f4, maybe e5, I don't know, maybe queen e2, c2, maybe b4, but he will play a5. Yeah, it's very complicated position, but he played the move f5 also makes a lot of sense because he, w he doesn't want to bring the opportunity to play e4. So I'm playing the move queen to c2, 
knight a6, very logical, a3, I didn't want to bring him the opportunity to play b b knight b4 of course, and also maybe in the future to play uh, b by myself, you know, b4, or oh, sorry, b4 and bishop b2, uh, just to develop another bishop. So knight c5, b4 I'm playing, and I, now knight c to e4. So I took the knight, f takes, and now I just play the move c5. Very logical, I think. Um, yeah, now the knight on d6 is feeling not so good. So knight b5. And this is maybe uh, the situation that we must think. What do you think about this position? How, which move do you prefer for white? You can stop the video now, think by yourself, which move and which line uh, do you want to play in this position? So after a long thought, you know, I played the move knight to knight takes b5, 10 seconds on the clock, I thought about this move. You know, I, you will know me better uh, in every video, but I must admit I really like to, uh, to give up the exchange. So I'm doing it also here. Bishop takes a1 and now bishop h6. I'm not sure about this move. You know, it was a brilliant move to find here with the white pieces, queen to a2. Also attacking this bishop on a1, and of course d6 or knight c7, it's, it's really, really beautiful. For example, bishop g7, I think also c6 maybe makes a lot of sense after bishop, I don't know, bishop c8, now knight c7. Of, of course, after queen c7, d6, and just incredible win, uh, and the queen is just... Uh, covered uh, in, in the next move. So queen e2 was just amazing. After bishop e5, I really think that I will play c6, bishop c8, and now something around d6, king h8, I think, d takes e7. After bishop c7, yeah, it, it will be a checkmate somehow. I, know, I don't know, it's, it seems so good, yeah. All the pieces are just crazy here. The white is doing just perfect. But unfortunately, after bishop a1, I played the move bishop h6, but bishop g7, and now I'm not sure that I have something. Bishop takes, king takes, and now queen takes e4. It seems that my pieces are very developed and very active, but don't forget, I am exchanged down, right? So yeah, it's not so easy to understand. He played the move c6. Now queen e5 check, rook f6, knight to c7. I'm not sure at all. D takes e6. What is the... What is the problem? Because bishop takes e6, I just take it, d takes, and now knight c7 with, with double attack, knight a8, and of course knight e6. So it seems that king f7 or king g8, something around it, this is the only move, but I will take it, rook d1, and okay, this is probably a game over. It's, it's only a matter of technique, I think. Uh, it's, it's winning because I have one pawn up, and also the king is very weak here. And the pawns are weak, right? So, yeah, it seems that, that white is winning. But unfortunately, I didn't play this one. I, after rook f6, I just played the move knight to c7. Uh, I think it's a blunder, because now rook c8, d6. Yeah, this, pawn, this bishop is not feeling so good here. And, of course, I, I'm attacking him. Uh, you know, I, I, all, all my pieces are doing great. But, but it's not a win, because, yeah, it's rook exchange up for black and... Everything is fine until now. I'm not winning something. So e takes d6, c takes d6, and now queen f8. Of course, attacking this d6 pawn, and also after rook d1, this uh, pawn, of course, not immediately because of the pin, but maybe in the future we'll have something. So f4 I played in this position. I'm not sure why I didn't play the move rook d1. Just the best move in the position. Uh, maybe I forgot that there is a pin here. Yeah, it's 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 very strange. But f4, he played the move king g8. I'm not sure what about queen takes d6 because knight e8, rook takes a8, queen takes e8, and now I don't know rook e6 with rook takes e2, queen d4, queen d2, c5 in some ways here. Yeah, it's it feels like very bad position for me. So f4 was a really really big blunder. Uh, but you know, surprisingly, he played the move king to g8. And I have time. So rook d1, rook f5, queen d4, makes sense. Queen g7, and now I play the move e4, bringing the e4. Now I want to play e4. All my life I'm playing the, this move in the first move in the game. But now e4 is coming in the 26th move. Unbelievable. Queen takes d4, rook takes d4, c5.
What about this move? I think it was a blunder by Gotham Chess because just e takes f5, c takes d4, and the bishop just gone. So yeah, I think on in this position maybe bishop g2 he should have played, but also in this position it seems that White will win it because bishop goes back. I think b5 maybe, or maybe if he's going to b bishop b7 for example, just b takes c5, g takes f5, takes it, or maybe c6. Maybe c6, bishop takes, rook takes, and knight e6, d7. Wow, promoting. Yeah, it's 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 really beautiful. Yeah. So yeah, he played the move c takes d4, bishop b7. Now we just game over. Rook f8 takes takes, bishop e4, king g7. Now bringing the king. As we already know, in end games we must bring the king into the center. So rook h8, h4, king f6, just king e2, a5, b5, closing everything. And now rook h5, king d3 taking the pawn and knight d5 and Gotham Chess resigned this game so I won Gotham Chess 2-0 unbelievable you know it's it's really really beautiful for me uh, to to succeed to win such a a, a a strong youtuber like Gotham Chess and I also uh, read about it that maybe he will be grandmaster soon so I wish him all the best of luck and uh, maybe he want to bring me, you know, to play against me a match. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, smash it, smash the like button. And also subscribe my channel. It's really, really improving me and give me the motivation to upload another video, another video, another video. So, thank you very much. See you soon. Bye-bye, my friends.